Hello everyone, Vicentio from HDTV Test here. So I was testing the 4K Blu-ray capabilities of the Sony PS5 using our own custom order test patterns, and I discovered that noise reduction is enabled by default secretly on the PS5, and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn it off. So if you press the options button on your PS5 controller, this will bring up a series of menus, and you need to click on the ellipses which will open up a sub-menu, go into settings, and you know, noise reduction is actually set to 1, which is enable. Now, to be fair to Sony, the noise reduction is temporal and very, very subtle, so I don't think that it is going to cause as many problems as, let's say, some other noise reduction algorithm. But as a purist, you always want to switch off any noise reduction wherever possible to preserve all the fine detail, to preserve all the film grain, and also to not cause any motion smearing. So if you click on this number here and turn it off, then this will make sure that the output from the PS5, as far as Blu-rays and also 4K Blu-rays are concerned, will be the cleanest possible. And then there are a couple of other settings that are, you know, wrong by default as well. So, in my opinion, dynamic range control should be set to off because, you know, what this setting does is to try and carry out some sort of dynamic range compression on the sound output. Obviously, in the manual, it says that it only applies to linear PCM, but I don't think, you know, there is any need if you are not actually listening during the night or wanting to hear clearer dialogue and things like that. You just want the sound to be output naturally and you know you can use the EQ on your receiver or soundbar to boost it in however way you want, which will be a better option than letting the PS5 do it automatically. So if you are hearing muffled sound, you should turn off dynamic range control. Then the next thing would be to set the audio format to the correct format. Now, by default, again, it is set to linear PCM, but if you set it to linear PCM, it will mean that you can't get Dolby Atmos sound from your 4K Blu-rays because the Sony PS5 actually doesn't have inbuilt Dolby Atmos decoding. So the correct setting for audio format would be to change it to Bitstream. What this will do is to pass the audio stream to your receiver or your soundbar or even your TV so that your other devices can actually decode the Dolby Atmos codec and then it will mean that you can experience Dolby Atmos or even DTS-X in terms of an immersive audio experience. So, you know, I am not sure why these settings are set like this, you know, from the off and, you know, it is not as if they are easy to find as well. So again, I stress that you just need to press the options button on your PS5 controller, go into the ellipses and they will bring up these settings for you to change. So hopefully you found this short and sweet video, at least by my standards, useful. If you'd like to watch some of our other videos on HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.